Retired Supreme Court Chief Justice Hilario David Jr. says that amending the restrictive economic provisions of the 1987 Constitution may cause further problems for Filipinos in the future. During the Senate Subcommittee Deliberation and Resolution of both Houses No. 6, Davide points out that the country's problems are not due to the 1987 Constitution, but rather because of its poor implementation. What our country and our people need today are not amendments to or revision of the Constitution, but the full implementation of its principles and state policies. RB6 seeks to amend economic provisions of the 1987 Constitution, specifically on education, advertising, and public utilities by inserting the phrase, unless otherwise provided by law, in the three stipulations, something that the video opposed. Our problems are not due to the restrictive economic provisions of the Constitution. They cannot be solved by removing its restrictive economic provisions and completely leaving to Congress, leaving to Congress their future under the clause unless otherwise provided by law. The retired Supreme Court Chief Justice adds that opening the country's education system to foreigners could make schools vulnerable to foreign control. The proposal opens to foreign control or dominance our basic education, which is the most crucial in the development and growth of our young. Can we expect foreigners at the helm or control of our educational system to seriously and heartily obey this state policy on education and curricula mandates? Citing the 1987 Constitution, Davide says that having foreign leaders in the country's basic education system would undermine the Nobel patriotic and nationalistic virtues. Davide also warns that it would be extremely dangerous if the country were to leave Congress the extent of Filipino ownership in requirement and businesses in the two sectors with regards to foreign ownership of public utilities and advertising. Davide, who is a staunch defender of the 1987 Constitution, underscored his unchanging stance and even likened the latest attempt to amend the 1987 Constitution to a dance to grave or to hell. He emphasizes that changing the charter would be a cruel punishment for a God-loving, patriotic, and nationalistic people.